Hey, what's going on, guys? Good morning, uh, good afternoon, good night. You guys see I got a haircut? You guys like my haircut? <laughs> uh, I wanted to just jump on this and let you guys know the power of social media, you know, the power that it has and how it can, like, kind of change your life and things of that nature. So everybody wakes up in the morning, I feel, and the first thing they do is they look at their phones. They look at their phones because this is what we're accustomed to, this is what we've done for so long and stuff like that. But I really believe that social media can be one of the biggest roots of unhappiness right now, and we not even realize it. So one thing about it is that we're always looking at social media to stay updated, to laugh, to have you know fun and stuff like that. But it can be the biggest root of your unhappiness nowadays because you're always comparing your life to that of someone else. You're looking at their highlights. You're looking at the things that they're doing, and you know you're like. Dang, why is it that my life? Why is it that where where I'm at in my life? Now the crazy thing about it is like I have a bunch of followers and I follow a bunch of people. And recently I I was debating on unfollowing almost every single person. Reason being that I was thinking about unfollowing every single person, uh, no shout out to you guys, is because when I see things, it then, you know, festers in my mind. So if I remove the people that I follow, the only thing I would see is what I post. Only thing I would see is like, you know, my consistency of my transitional stage, you know, the positivity that I put out, you know, the basketball, things of that nature. And I won't be, uh, I guess, coerced to looking at other people's ideologies of lives and things of that nature. I always see women post, <clears throat> you know, Man Crush Mondays or this would be nice if a man did this for me. I see guys post, you know, girls this. Girls that get money, stay out your feelings. It's like you see it for so long. It's like it it it, it kind of affects you. It affects you if you really don't really don't realize it. Every morning, because I'm a social content creator, even before this point, I think I woke up and I touched my phone. Like I probably touched my phone before I brushed my teeth, before I hopped in the shower, before I even used the bathroom. I'd be just sitting on the toilet, looking at my phone, and I, I my legs are going numb because I've been sitting on the toilet for so long just staring at my phone. And the thing about it is, is that you're constantly scrolling through other people's accounts. Like you're constantly, 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 constantly. You're looking at like their lives, their wealth. For some ladies looking at the beauty, you see some women wear makeup, you're like, uh, I wish I could pull it off. I wish my makeup looked better like this. This is causing, you know, uncomfortability in your, in your life, you know, it's, it's the cars that you're looking at, it's like the fashion, it's it's just so much, it's, I mean, most of all, the relationships. I do it all the time. I see people happy, loving, kissing and all that, and I'm like, wow, this relationship is so so dope, I need it. I need it, I don't know if you guys ever heard me talk about it, but I, but I need it. And this can affect you. And that's why I think that it could be one of the most unforgiving apps out there. Whether it's Facebook, uh, Snapchat, Twitter, um, Instagram, any of these things, social media can cause an unhappiness in you that you already don't need. You probably already have unhappiness from things that you haven't talked about, things that you haven't dealt with, or things that you need to talk about. You know, but being you know, on social media and seeing people's highlights and seeing things that they go through and and all of that, it creates a discontentment in you. Now, for those that don't know what discontentment means, it's like, you know. It creates something in you that makes you unhappy with where you're at in your life. And to be honest, we all are blessings and all have blessings in our lives. We all should be grateful for the things that we have because a lot of people have less than what we have. But we complain because we don't see the things that we see on social media. One thing I'm going to tell you about social media is it's a facade. A lot of people post a lot of things that's not true. I used to post things that's not true. I used to be like, oh my God, I'm so happy. Oh my God, I have the best thing in the world. Uh, I used to say so much. And in actuality, I wasn't even that happy. Like, I wasn't mad, but I wasn't as happy as I was trying to portray. I was more focused on going on vacation, taking pictures, so people could like my pictures and be like, okay, Matt is vibing. Now, no. Now, when I go out on vacation or basketball, my mom says, obviously, in a moment, to enjoy it. It's obviously to create content for you guys to keep this pushing. It's obvious to, uh, you know, just stay happy and stay on on the same path and be genuine, Gen you know, be genuine with it. 
I just watched my playlist video from the other day, um, from actually last year around this time. And I, I watched it and I was like, yo, like I, I really had a dope time in playlist. I really had a great time in playlist. Some of the video I didn't like because of how I rushed the edit and everything, but I was like a year in um, or like a couple of months into being a YouTuber. But I'm so glad I looked at it because it just shows your growth of so much. I've been recording, I'm probably close to my 400th video. Right now, like I said, I told you guys that I'm almost to my 2,000th subscriber. Let's get that today. Um, and I was just thinking about it. Like, social media is, is something that can create a discontentment in you. And, you know, inside your own heart, belittling, like, the God, belittling the gifts that God gave you. God gave us so many gifts, man. God gave us so many things. And we, are, we, can, we can be unhappy by looking at these things in life. And I'm the first one to tell you that we have to be appreciative. I'm the first one to tell you that uh, be grateful for the bed that you lay in. If you have a bed, or if you have, be grateful for it because you're in a tough space, but you won't be in that tough space for long. And even if you're in a good space, make sure you stay prepared like you're ready for war because the devil is not happy with that, especially if you're affecting other lives and bringing them to the, you know, bring other people to, you know, the kingdom of God. This, these things right here will, will raise a red flag for him. And you got to be, be sure that the things that, that bother you, the things that get you over the top, you know, as far as like get you in your feelings and stuff like that, make sure you have that down packed. One of my biggest, biggest, biggest things is my attitude. I had and have a bad attitude. I'm going to say bad, but I have a lot to work on. Before, my attitude was like the Tasmanian Devil, the Hulk, Wolverine, all of them. When something happened, I blew up. I reacted before I thought. Nowadays in my life, uh, 2020, you know, even even before this, I was like, I'm just going to be on straight positive vibes, straight love, straight happiness. None of that nonsense, none of that negativity. Reason being is because it took me so long to get to this point. I have so many blessings and so many platforms that I'm affecting. I can't be out here losing my life or losing the opportunities that I haven't presented with over an attitude. I seen a post one day and it was like, uh, I guess it's eight, 86,300 something um, seconds in a day but they changed it and they said if you lost $60 out of $86,000 would you throw the whole 86000 away and obviously people was like nah why would I do that why would I do that and then it said well there's 86,000 seconds in a day so why would you let 60 seconds of something that bothered you ruin the rest of your day and it's true Something bothers us and we over, over hyperbolize it. We like, oh my God, this is the worst thing ever. Oh my God, I can't do this. Oh my God, I don't want nobody to bother. It's not that serious, bro. That's why I say it's so important that we focus in on who we are, focus in on um, what makes us happy and focus in on what gets us over the top because these things right here will show us. These things right here will have us get to the point that we need in our lives. We need it, we need it, we need it. We need it. It's imperative that we're always pushing for the for the bag, and it's imperative that we're always pushing to be better, and it's imperative that we have a foundation that we believe in and, and live on, because these are the things that's gonna keep us whole, keep us happy. Be happy for the blessings that you have now. Be happy for your scars also. Be happy for the trials and tribulations that you're going through, because God sees something in you, that's why he put in, putting all of these things through you. You have to understand that. You know what I mean? And what, what you don't want and you know what you can't have, stay focused on your own life and your own path is very important. You have to stay focused on your own life and your own path. You can always look over to the other grass. The grass probably always greener. Doesn't mean that it's real. Doesn't mean that it's true. Doesn't mean that it's for you. What's for you will always be for you. And you can never doubt that. You can never second guess that. You know, and I want you guys to believe. Believe in yourself, like, wholeheartedly. Wholeheartedly. Because I believe in you guys. That's why I'm making this content. I'm not just coming on here just to talk because, you know, I want to just talk. <laughs> I mean, although, like, you know, this is a great vengeance session for me, you know, you guys matter. You know, you guys listening in and, and giving me feedback and telling me how I'm helping you guys' days. I study and I focus in on how to create more content for you guys and how to be better for you guys. I want you guys to be better for me, be better for yourselves, be better for your loved one, and be better for your significant other. God blessed us with a lot of gifts. God blessed us with a lot of opportunities. Never doubt that. Never second guess it. It took us so long to get to this point right now. It took us so long to get here. You know, you guys are 
are amazing. And I don't want you guys to ever forget that. I don't want you guys to ever forget that. Because as long as it took you to get here, we still got more to go. God did not bring you this far just to bring you this far. I appreciate you guys for tuning in, man. I got another video dropping today at 5 p.m. It's going to be a premiere. It's a basketball game. I hope you guys tune in. I hope you guys comment. I hope you guys spam my comments. Go crazy. And let me know. If you guys keep commenting like that, I'm going to keep throwing y'all surprise videos. I love the support. I hear a lot of feedback on uh, my snow crab uh, uh, seafood mukbang. You know, so if you guys keep sparing me in the comments, I'm going to keep throwing it up. I'm going to keep giving you guys more content. Because you guys make this best. You guys make this great. You guys are my blessings, man. I appreciate you all. Matt Thomas, royalty, over and out.